But I think truly, if I sat down and had to sit down and watch them all, I still think number one, as almost uh, cheesy and innocent as it still is because it's so old, it's, it has something that a lot of them just didn't quite measure up to. I mean, I still, I don't even really like part two. <laughs> of, of the original or of the remake? Either. <laughs> Most of the original. It's kind of like, I just... I don't know. I felt it wasn't the same. It didn't have the same uh, quality that, that the first one did. I don't know. Well, what about the music? Because, you know, music is what always makes films sound better. Do you think the music was oh, better? Man, than... I love Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, well, I got to tell you, obviously, uh, my partner and I both uh, absolutely love Tyler Bates. So the stuff that Tyler Bates did for the Rob Zombie films... Uh, is, is is very cool. I mean, Alan Howarth did a great job in taking what John did for one and taking it and running all the way through all of them. Of course, when you talk to John Ottman, who did Halloween H2O, he's, he just said they butchered it. I mean, he gave them one score, and what actually ended up in the film was so chopped up and so cut up, he could not really release an H2O soundtrack. He had to put it on a CD and I believe he called it uh, something about terror, where he just had to use clips and cuts. So, I don't know. I mean, well, I'm a big fan of, of John Ottman and, and Tyler Bates. So, oh. well, Carpenter, I mean, come on. How can anybody argue with what he did with that theme? Everybody knows it still. Oh, of course. Because uh, people recognize with it, and they, they always agree that you know the original will always be better than... Than what's come out now. I, do you agree that there's too many remakes on films? You mean as a as a whole? Or yeah, just as a film, not just a horror genre, but like all films that come out nowadays that are not remakes. Do you think there's like too many of them, or do you think that they should make more of them? Or you know, I I guess what I don't understand is why they are why they're resorting to just coming up with remakes. I mean, I get it. I think what's great is, in one respect, it, it brings in another um, uh, generation of people. It introduces them to the next, you know, oh, I, I had no idea that this was a film. I mean, oddly enough, as much as I've been into horror films my whole entire life, I saw uh, the, the Texas Chainsaw remake before I ever saw the Texas Chainsaw original. And I will not lie, I was a huge fan of the remake. I mean, the director is phenomenal. Um, I think that Andrew played a very scary Leatherface, and I'm not going to lie, Jessica Biel, you know, looks pretty good in it. So, <laughs> from that, and, and again, here we go again, Stephen Jablonski did amazing music for that, that I'm a huge fan of him. So, when I think of it, I go, yeah, uh, some of them, well, maybe. But, you know, it's like if I said to you, so they were going to remake Back to the Future. And you go, mm, they just can't. There's, there's certain limitations that I don't understand. But on the flip side, I go, it's an industry. It's called the entertainment business. And therefore, if they, if they see something that's worth uh, making a few bucks on and, again, bringing it to a new generation – then the more power to them. As far as all the horror, let me now remake the sequel, the part three, because of course they're doing Halloween three, and they're. I, at first, I had heard they were something to do with three D, um, <laughs> and I'm yes. just, I'm kind of going, wow. But there's a market for it. They wouldn't do it if they couldn't make money. So I, so I get it. So, so okay, so they're gonna make a Halloween three, but are they gonna, oh, they, are they just gonna have like a, an original idea for it, or are they just are they gonna actually have Michael Myers be like the main character, or are they gonna like do it all over again like they did in the uh, the season of the witch and just have it be no idea, or you know, Sam, you know what I mean? You know? Yes, I do, and that's what I don't know yet because I know that they did. It, it was deemed Halloween three D for a while, and now I'm not seeing that title attached to it. Uh -huh. So I don't know if they're going to cop the Season of the Witch theory or what, because I thought that they also had included some information saying that story was partial written by Rob Zombie. Even though it's not Rob Zombie who's doing it, I think it's, uh, I, I, the last name escapes me. His first name is Patrick. He did My Bloody Valentine 3D. Okay. Huh. He's the guy directing it. So 
in a way, I'm starting to kind of think I don't understand why they're going to keep going. I mean, are they going to remake Jaws? I mean, come on, there's some great movies no. out there that they shouldn't really yeah. touch. And some of the fans I've talked to were of the same theory, and some said, you know, whatever. You know, I, I don't know. I, I hate to be too opinionated when it comes to that because, I mean, everybody's going to have their own decision of, well, did, did Rob Zombie do right? Did he do wrong? You know, Rob Zombie gets into the into the psyche of people. I mean, to me, Devil's Rejects was one of the creepiest movies because, to me, I believe that those three lunatics really exist. You know, you're not going to see somebody in a William Shatner mask and a butcher knife <laughs> hacking people up. <laughs> of course not. Of course. That would be kind of... That would be too creepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean... You know, I don't know, and, and from what I've been kind of reading, I think that they've also taken the new, I know that they're slated to do another uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and another Friday the 13th, but I think the oh, Friday yeah. the 13th has been taken off as of right now. I, so yeah, I don't even know, one. I guess I get confused on why they're going to actually redo sequels. I mean, yeah. how far into these franchises are they going to go considering the franchises have way too many sequels to begin with <laughs> yeah that's another another thing that i was going to say i, I actually own all, currently all the friday the 13th and the uh uh freddy ones as well yeah. and yeah i mean it's like how I many how many do they need i mean it's like why could they go and just come up with an original idea for like a new bad guy a new bad guy of today that would be just as cool just as bad as uh, freddy krueger or, or jason or michael myers Dracula. Yeah, I kind of agree. With all the technology and all the ability, and, and people are getting more whacked out out there, you'd think somebody could base a new character off of somebody like that. I mean, you know, give me a movie about Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, he was pretty screwed up. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, I mean, or, or, you know. 16 minutes. Or, let's see, there's, there's other ones, too. Like, they have even touched, like, the pinhead stuff or the pumpkin head you know or they haven't really done much with that yeah, it's why why too. don't they uh if they're gonna bring back like a character why do they have to bring back a mainstream or why don't they bring back leprechaun or something <laughs> hey, i don't know skin. i mean that's a, that's a good question I, I was thinking that there was a hellraiser something that was in the works but you know on some of those i really i don't know I, again i don't know if it's based on money um I don't know popularity. I mean, I know the internet has obviously gained a lot of popularity for for some of these new franchises. I mean, the Halloween franchise with its HalloweenMovies.com. You know, I mean, I've been told through multiple people of how successful that site is, and it's all because of the fans. Oh and yeah, these fans, they're so diehard. It's it's pretty dang cool. <laughs> well, people know what they like, and that's why we have horror conventions, which. Yeah, I've never been to any uh, uh, Comic Con and all that stuff. You know, I mean, all these conventions of, of fans that of people that like what they like. The, the sad thing about where I live here is like we have conventions, but we have tractor conventions. <laughs> hey, I'm a redneck. Understood. <laughs> I mean, who wants to go to a fucking uh, tractor convention and learn about John Deere? I mean, I think I know what I need to know about that. Yeah, he cuts grass. <laughs> I mean, it smokes a little, too. I don't know, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, gets on the riding lawnmower and makes artwork. I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I would always say how cool it would be. Have you ever been to, like, the San Diego Comic-Con at all? 